All right, guys, we are today at the famous El Jana. And look, I know it's been a minute since you guys have seen a video from me for Yes Yadi. I've been super busy, but it's good to be back. And we've got quite a bundle here, and we're going to talk about that in a moment. So let's get right into it. So we got a half chicken combo. Obviously, you get the legs with chips. We've got Lebanese bread here. Got two small garlic sauces, pickles, and uh, something else. I got the charcoal chicken wrap. And finally, we got four tenders with gravy sauce. Now, here's the funny thing. They wouldn't give the gravy sauce uh, unless you got six. So we had to buy this separately, which was an extra two people. So I'm not really, you know, what can you do? It is what it is, I guess. But... Yeah, it's an extra 250 if you get four tenders instead of six. Now, all of this was 4750 Almost as much as we paid for Jasmine, which was a hectic meal. And obviously, we got one drink because this is a combo. All right, so we're going to dig into this now. And uh, we'll talk about it real soon. All right. Let's see. We're going to start off with the wrap. Now straight away feeling the wrap, you can feel that the bread is kind of hard, the Lebanese bread. It's like it's been uh, in the oven, but hopefully it will be pretty crunchy. Look at that, quite good. That's ah, really good. So you got some pickles, start onion, chicken tenders, and I just said no tomato sauce. It's actually really good. It's got garlic sauce. The old Jana garlic sauce is actually really good, guys, by the way. It's one of their signature things that I absolutely love. Get a pickle out. Pickles are delicious as always. Wow, the cost of the crust is getting tall out. Ah, uh, gross. Look, 47. For two people. Still alright. But it depends on what you want to spend that on. I mean, obviously, Jasmine's was like, I think it was 55 with the two, uh, I think it was two cans. The cans were a little bit expensive, but overall, it was all right. Now we're going to try the chicken tenders, garlic sauce. Oh, I fell in there. The chicken tenders are actually quite dry. It's still a beauty, so. Well, they're They're dry and actually really hot. What up, Nipsu? So, yeah, uh, I'm not digging the chicken tenders right now. Let's try the chips. The chips are good. I'll give the gravy a quick go. And look at this gravy. They're like mushrooms or something in it. So good. Well, oh, the gravy's hectic. Yeah, the gravy's really nice. All right. The gravy's good. It's not like regular gravy. It's like flavored gravy. And it tastes great. 47. Half a chicken, wrap, chips, Lebanese bread, tenders, and extra garlic sauce, a small one, which is $1.50 and a drink. It's not bad. All right, we're gonna get into it now. We'll see you guys at the end. So just to show you what's in the charcoal wrap, we have the pickles, some salad, onion, and chicken tenders with garlic sauce. Simple, but it's very nice, it's very effective. The bread is nice and crispy as well. So that's a plus. Look, guys, El, El Jana has been around for quite a long time, especially in this area. They've got a lot of shops, a lot of franchises, and they do really well. What I'm actually kind of surprised it is a Saturday, it's almost well, I think it's like 10 30 now, they close at 11. It's not very busy tonight for a Saturday, I don't know, but 
normally when I see here on the, on the weekdays, it gets pretty packed, you know? And normally weekends as well, but today, maybe because they're closing, they're not super busy, but the chicken's very good. If you like chicken and, you know, that's what you want, then definitely a good place to recommend. Next time, we'll have to try their rivalries, El Hawa, which is down the road, and um, see what they're about. Because I know these guys, I think they're like brothers or something, and they were competing. And I remember having El Hawa a long time ago, and they make really good food too. Like, they got rice, but the problem with the rice that I don't like is that it's got like, it's good with garlic. I like garlic, but it's too much garlic, you know? These guys, El Jana, doesn't, don't have garlic at all. Um, don't have rice at all. They just have chips and tabbouleh as an option. Oh, by the way, I didn't get tabbouleh today, but the tabbouleh here is very good. It's just a bit pricey. It's, it's like seven fifty for a small tabbouleh, and it's like, I think it's eight fifty or nine fifty for a large one. The small one's really small. It's like a small container. But the jasmine tabbouleh, in my opinion, is better. It's more succulent, feels even more fresh, and it's really good. Not that this one's bad, but if told me to pick, I'd pick the jasmine tabbouleh. Available. Burn box. But honestly, I'm very surprised with the gravy. The gravy is actually very nice. I thought it was just going to be like regular gravy, but it's not. So very happy with the gravy. That's good. It's enough for me. See. I'm already a bit full tonight, but wanted to try a couple of different things to kind of review. It's all chicken, but you know, no beef option here. All in all, I think it was a very good meal. Here we are at good old Eljana in there, which is about to close shortly. Now look, do I recommend it? Yeah, I think it's a good price, $47.50. I mean, you're having a laugh. You know, feeds two people, it's not bad. If you guys like chicken and like really, really good succulent chicken, then this is probably the place I'd recommend you check out. They got plenty around all over Sydney, so you'll be able to find one easily. And as always, I'm gonna catch you guys on the next one. That was a mad feed. And now, it's time to rest.